17 years after the B-24D bomber Lady Be Good and her nine crew members vanished during a bombing run from their base in Saluk, Libya, to the port of Naples, Italy, a breakthrough. A U.S. Army investigation team discovered the remains of five of the crew members on a plateau inside the sand sea, in an area littered with flight jackets, canteens, flashlights, and other pieces of equipment and personal effects. The crew's journey began at 3.10 p.m. on April 4, 1943, when the Lady Be Good took off from Saluk Airfield, roughly 30 miles south of Benghazi, with the airmen heading for their first combat mission. In the cockpit, First Lieutenant William Hatton in the pilot seat and co-pilot Second Lieutenant Robert Toner, both 26. The crew included Lieutenant D.P. Hayes, 24, the navigator, Lieutenant John Warovka, 26, the bombardier, Sergeant Harold Ripslinger, 23, the flight engineer, Sergeant Robert Lamott, the radio operator, and two gunners, Sergeant Guy Shelley, 28, and Sergeant Vernon Moore, just 22. Conditions were rough. The 25 bombers had taken off in a sandstorm, and nine of the 13 B-24s in the Lady Be Good's formation turned back early due to low visibility or engine trouble. But the Lady Be Good tried to carry on. As it became harder to see, though, Lieutenant Hatton decided to turn back, dropping the bombs in the Mediterranean. Time 22.15, the estimated time of arrival of the Lady Be Good at Soluk. But the Lady Be Good is still in the air. Hatton told Lamont to switch to the emergency transmission and message the Benina radio direction finder station north of Saluk. Benina is said to have responded, but the Lady Be Good either didn't receive the bearing or misread it and continued flying. This emergency call marks the last sign of the Lady Be Good for more than 15 years. On May 16, 1958, the Lady Be Good was spotted from the air by a British oil exploration team. They fixed its position and reported the sighting to the Americans. But no action was taken. In February 1959, another British oil exploration team in the Libyan desert, aware of the ship, set out to find her. They eventually came across this propeller and later found the plane on a gravel plane some 450 miles south of Saluk. It was remarkably largely intact, but there were no traces of the crew. F. Gordon Bowerman, a surveyor with the team, sent a letter to a friend at the Wheelis Air Base in Tripoli, Libya, detailing what they had found. The letter sparked the U.S. investigation that ultimately led to the discovery of the five men on February 11, 1960. Among the personal effects recovered, a diary belonging to Lieutenant Toner. The entry for April 4, 1943 read, Lost Returning. A stained glass window at the National Museum of the Air Force commemorates the Lady Be Good and her crew, who in April 1943 made the ultimate sacrifice for their country.